Hi everyone, I'm Evert and welcome to my art channel. In this video I'm going to be using some pencil crayons and this is strange for me because I don't normally use them. Normally when I'm doing a pencil crayon drawing I'd be using one of these and that would be either watercolor pencils or pastel pencils. Um, when I was a student I spent a fortune on some really expensive pencil crayons and absolutely hated them so I threw them away I've never used any normal pencil crayons since. For my pastel pencils or my watercolor pencils I typically have to use quite a rough textured paper so that it has enough tooth to hold the pigment. Um, but for this drawing I wanted to do a smooth drawing like I've seen other people produce um, and I asked them what materials they used and the general consensus was that they'd either use Prismacolor pencils or Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils um, or a combination of both. So for this drawing I thought I would try out the Faber-Castell Polychromos ones um, just because I typically quite like using Faber-Castell products. Um, in a later video, I'll get some Prismacolor pencils and do a comparison. The subject matter of this drawing is a bonsai, I think it's a ficus, that lives in the hallway outside my office. And every time I walk past it, I think I'd really like to draw its root structure so this is my opportunity to do that. This is a still life drawn from the actual plant and I started by doing first a an accurate pencil drawing and then a pen and ink drawing over the top of that. I put a bit more detail into the pen and ink drawing than I normally would for one of my marker renderings. Um, but that was purely because I wanted that texture and the color was secondary in this case, which made it the perfect experiment for the pencil crayons. You'll notice that I started by inking the leaves and that's because I actually really didn't feel like doing them. So if I'd left them to last, I would have rushed it and potentially ruined the drawing. So I first made sure that worked and then I did the roots which were the bits that I actually wanted to draw. And a useful trick to remember is where you spend most of your time drawing that's where the viewer will spend most of their time looking as well. With the bowl I didn't want it to draw much attention at all so I put very little detail into it. At the end of the inking I just went back and added a few darker areas, a few broader lines, um, a bit more texture using a very fine pen just to increase the vibrance of the pen drawing. 
unboxing new toys is always quite fun. As you can see, I bought quite a limited palette um, that should be sufficient for this drawing. If I find that I want to do more pencil crown work, I may buy a larger set at a later stage. I did have a quick scan through the booklet. If you are new to pencil crowns, you might find some useful tips in there. And something very interesting that I didn't realize is you can use these as paint by diluting them with baby oil. Um, so I'm going to have to try that at some point. With the color, I just wanted to enhance the pen drawing that was already there. I had already done the work to define the textures and, and the, the volume and the shape of it. Um, so I could focus just purely on the color and trying to blend and, and really experiment with the pencils. Some colors worked a lot more effectively or efficiently than other colors. So for instance, one of the greens um, put a lot more pigment down than the others. So that's just something that you have to keep in mind and adjust the pressure that you use per pencil. At the end of the drawing, I'm not sure whether my favorite part is still the roots or whether it's the vibrance of the leaves. Either way, I'm very happy with the end result and I can definitely recommend Faber-Castell Polychromos pencil crayons. I'll be using them much more in the future. A um, few experiments that I still want to do with them is trying them on different surfaces, rougher textures, and potentially in combination with pastel pencils or watercolor pencils and see how those go. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video or found it useful. Um, if you did and would like to see more of my videos as they are published, uh, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions for other videos, please let me know in the comments. Or leave a like if you feel so inclined. Um, until next time, I hope you stay creative.